Good morning and welcome to this week's Monday Minutes. My name is Kelly. And my name is Jessie. And this week we're going to show you a suggestion that Kelly came up with. We've been talking a lot about ways that we can transition to promote and communicate things about the library now that we are in an altered state. Whether you're doing curbside pickups or you have um, smaller hours, whatever the circumstances. So Kelly came up with a great idea for customizing your notices and slips when the user either leaves the library or if you're doing curbside pickup, that slip that's going out the door with them. So what we're going to show you today is a few ways to make that slip enhanced um, when they walk out the door. And really, maybe people didn't know that this feature has always been available. It's just mm -hmm. something that it, there's a, this is another way to communicate to your users when you really aren't able to see them as much as you used to be able to see them. Exactly. So the first thing we'll do is jump into tools and we'll set up an announcement that we want to show up on our slip. So we're going to come over to additional tools and we're going to scroll down to news. So Kelly, walk us through, you know, kind of the options that we have here. Yeah, absolutely. The news feature allows you to publish communication through the staff client, through the OPAC, and also the slip, as Jesse's saying. That's your issue slip. So when we create a new entry, as Jesse's has at the very top, there is a display location. And for our purposes today, we're going to choose slip. And so this is telling Koha, we're going to put some content, content here, and that content will add to the slip. So when it prints out, it will display what we're adding here. So it's so exciting. It is really exciting. Now, if you're a multi-branch system, you can have specialized messages for each one of your locations. Um, the only fill that's really required here is your title. There are some nice features which allow you to set a publication date. So if you want to do some for the future, um, you can set those up. And of course, when you want them to expire by a certain date, because maybe the virtual story times are over or a program that you're promoting, um, it will automatically expire. When we get down to the bottom, you have a WYSIWYG that will allow you to go in and make some customizations, whether you want to indent something, center it, bold it, italicize, and then add it in. So Kelly, why don't we open up one that we've created in the system. We'll go to your virtual story times here and talk to us a little bit about what you set up. Um, let's just pause on WYSIWYG. I mean, what kind of word is this? But I know what it means, but I'm just saying like, it's just a word that's so random and that means what you see is what you get. So everything you display here is what's gonna show up on your slip. So I find this like almost like a Word document or a Google doc, you can center, you can bold text, you can change the text, you can italicize, you can make links. Um, so really I just wanted to emphasize, you can put emojis. I just wanted to emphasize you can certainly edit this area to make it display nice and pretty and maybe grab the attention of your user when they get that slip. Yeah, this is a perfect one and with that emoji in there. And the other one we want to show off is the QR code. Mm -hmm. So again, you know, we saw the nice enhancement in one of our last Monday minutes of that QR code. So you can do that touchless interaction. And we thought it would be a good idea if we generated a QR code here that went directly to the OPAC that the user could, you know, pick that slip up, scan it, and it would take them right back to the OPAC on their mobile device. So there's lots of ways that you can use this powerful news feature to get messages across to your users. Um, Kelly, talk to us a little bit about adding images in because there is a, a bit of a two-step process. Yeah, absolutely. So if you do want to add an image in, that's completely possible. You have two options. You do need to have a source um, URL to add here. To get that source URL, you would need to either host your images yourself, or if you do not host your images or you have nowhere to do it, or you really just are like, I'm not really sure how to do this, send us a ticket. We can certainly um, store your images for you and, and set that up, um, that source URL for you. So either way, if you host it yourself or you need our help, please let us know. And as Jesse said, this QR code 100% will give you the way to create a QR code. We just went to a website, we added our OPAC URL and it created it for us. So it was super easy. Super easy. You can even customize how large it appears on the slip. So mm -hmm. if you want multiple images, like I've seen some libraries do like a little Facebook icon, Instagram, you know, Twitter, things like that. So you can really, really 
customize these to look beautiful. Yeah, absolutely, absolutely. Okay. Okay, so we have our news feature set up. What's our next step, Kelly? Our next step is we need to actually tell Koha to take what we put in the slip news feature into the actual slip itself. So we'll go into our notices and slips, still under tools. And the slip that this is populating on is called the issue slip. And the issue slip is the, the one that you um, generally is the one a lot of libraries use that shows everything the, the user has checked out. So when we come in to edit those, we're going to go down to email. And generally, most people put this at the bottom of the slip so the user would see items that they have checked out. And then at the bottom, they'll see um, a little section that has the news. So what we've done is we did a little styling here at the top just to center the word news um, and then we use the message body over here to pull in our OPAC news content so on the message body if we scroll here it's towards the bottom this will allow us to pull anything in from OPAC news so it could be the title of the announcement that you're making it could be the content you know, whatever you want. Um, and that allows you to bring that information in. So once you have that inserted, you'll hit that save button and now we can print the slip and look at that information. So exciting. Okay, so now we'll come over here. We check some, um, a few things out. So we'll hit that print slip and there we go. Let's make this a little bigger so everyone can see what it looks like. So, you know, we can see our new uh, virtual hours. Uh, a QR code, and then of course that virtual story time with the emoji. So all of that will print right out on their slip. So again, whether you're using that curbside pickup and this is going out the door, or you do have hours where individuals are coming in, you can get another message across. Yeah, this is great. And I hope this is useful to libraries out there that have never used it or didn't think about using it and said this is a great way to communicate to our users, so our patrons. So I'm so happy. Yeah. And we also have some big news, don't we, Jesse? Yeah. Um, Monday Minutes is celebrating one year this week. So we have a little contest for all of our viewers out there. If you've been following along with us for the last year, we want to give a little surprise to the first person that can remember what the first episode of Monday Minutes was. So this was a, about a year ago we started doing this. Uh, and uh, for our viewers out there, if you can remember, email outreach at bywatersolutions.com and the first person that sends in their guests, we will send them a, a little gift card to their local bookstore. Yeah, this is exciting. I cannot believe it's been a year. Yeah. Now we've been doing videos since 2017 but at the same time we officially started doing monday minutes and as my kids said when you know this pandemic started they said nothing's going to stop monday minutes i mean we were like <laughs> we were going week after week regardless so yep. one year strong so one year strong happy anniversary jesse happy anniversary wouldn't want to do it with anyone else I wouldn't either okay have a great week